All right, folks, now we're going to solve the name Jehovah again in English because this is so important. In Kingpin, that you see that God is three persons proven mathematically in the very letters Jehovah. The O at dead center is 15, which is king for the number 3. The H and the V knit together to make 30, which is a multiple of 3. And the E and the A knit together to make 6, which is a multiple of 3. And then the J and the H, the bookends, knit together to make 18, which is a multiple of 3. <laughs> Why? Because God is sovereign and God is three persons. Jehovah God is three persons. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And we just proved it mathematically, using grade one math, that all the children of all the earth can do for themselves to the glory of the Trinity. It's that simple. That's the mechanism God has ordained to take the glory for everything in world history. Every letter equals a number, and all the letters add up in the most beautiful ways to glorify himself mathematically every single time. Like it or not, that's the way it is. So get used to it and get it into our, edu our education system as quickly as possible so we can clean up the mess we currently have. So <clears throat> O divides by 3, HV divides by 3, EA divides by 3, JH divides by 3, the whole thing is 69, a triple of 23, 23 is the ninth prime, which is 3 times 3. So it's literally maximum for the number 3 because God is maximum, he's perfect, and he is 3 people. And I'm sick and tired of everyone running around not knowing who God is, where God is, why they're here, and uh, what the point of this whole story of human history is. So there you go, from the very word Jehovah, as written in English by the thousands all over the world, in books, on church buildings, in concrete, in stone, in gold, and silver, and brass, these letters carved in capitals will last forever, um, a lot longer than you. So I recommend that you take heed to the word of the Lord through the man of God and study all of my videos, understand what God has been up to for the past 6,000 years. He's glorifying himself mathematically in all of world history using the very words that we speak and um, so that no man is without excuse on the day of judgment. Jehovah is God. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Um, done. Jehovah is pure threes. Three syllables. Jehovah. One, two, three. Three, because God is three persons, the Trinity. And then the three vowels, of course, we knit together to make a multiple of three. In fact, it's 21, a sevenfold set of threes. And then these consonants knit together to make a multiple of three. These knit together to make a multiple of three. These knit together to make a multiple of three. These knit together to make a multiple of three. So that it's perfect symmetry for the number three. And if you count the number of strokes to carve this divine set of capital letters in stone, it all divides by three. And yes, of course, Nike divides by three, Swish divides by three, Swoosh divides by three. The designer of this logo, Carolyn Davidson, Carolyn equals 88, Davidson equals 88, to glory of Jesus equals 88. Okay? So that everything is for Jesus. Everything you've ever seen, heard, thought, touched, or felt is for the glory of Jesus Christ and the triune God. Period. And the way he takes the glory for it all is using numbers. Whether you like it or not, that's the way he does it. Because numbers are the universal language, Numbers are the glory of God. Okay? Numbers are the root of the physical universe. Every element is different from the next simply by the number of protons and neutrons and electrons in them. Well, that's the way God designed the physical universe, all based on numbers. Don't you think it would make sense that he takes the glory for everything in world history using numbers? Absolutely. Um, truly, numbers are the most abundant thing in the universe because everything can be counted. And therefore, would it not make sense that the most abundant thing in the universe is the de facto mechanism by which the hyperabundant, infinite God takes the glory for everything at all times in this one-shot story that he is writing for his glory before the trillions of watching angels. Did you know that there are more angels than there are human beings? Much more. And did you know that the Bible is clear that we are lower than the angels? So this story that God is writing for his glory is just as much, if not more so, about the worship of the angels towards God, um, just as it is about humankind worshiping God. You need to zoom out from your dumb little blinders, your dumb little consumer goods, your dumb little trinketry, your dumb little family, your dumb little human relationships, and you need to understand the big picture. What is going on? Who is God? What is going on in this universe? And who is it all for? And why are you here? Why am I here? Okay. Um, so there you go. Isn't that beautiful? Jehovah. One, two, three vowels. 
the divide by 3. But notice that the O is at dead center. I preached on this in the other video when we first uh, detailed this. The O is God's favorite letter to glorify the number 3. It's at the center of the word God, Lord, love, glory, word, world, all the rest of it. Um, <clears throat> and um, because God is three persons. God is love. Never forget that God is equals love. Mathematically, just like all these other letters, God is equals 54 equals love. Um, what does that mean? Well, what is love? Well, God is love. God is three persons in perfect, total unity. Totally united. Totally close. Totally in fellowship with each other. Inseparable. Perfectly united. And if so if God is love and he desires love for humankind, what does that mean man should be doing? First of all, watching all my videos so you understand what God is doing with numbers all these years so you can get a hope of understanding who God is. The more you know about God, the more you know the truth, the more you can have love with other people who also know about God. Um, if you want shallow relationships that are completely unsatisfying, uh, hang around people that don't have a clue what's going on. If you want relationships in life that are extremely deep and extremely satisfying and extremely anointed and blessed by God, you need to hang around people that have a personal relationship with God in a deep priority one level. Okay. People like myself, people that actually pray, men that actually spend copious amounts of time seeking God, praying to God, digging for God's glory in world history, and, and um, I'm tired of shallow people. It's nonsense. It's all unsatisfying. It's silly junk. So there you go. We just proved mathematically to all the universe that Jehovah is three persons. I would recommend that this... Um, that this revelation is worth uh, more than all the money in the world combined because the glory of God and who God is is more expensive and more valuable than all the dumb junk <laughs> which is all dead stuff did you notice that when God created the world in six days he created all the dead stuff first like the rocks and the minerals and all that stuff, but he saved the best for last, the living creatures and man made in his image. Which is to say that is what is the most valuable. Why are you spending your life focusing on dead junk, inanimate crap, like houses and possessions and cars and cell phones and technology that um, is worthless? It's nothing. It's incomparable to even your own human body, which is amazing with thousands of enzymes flowing through every single nook and cranny by the second. There's not a single possession you own that comes even close to the value of your human body. What percentage of your income are you spending on your longevity and your free time for love with others and your physical health and your in time, free time capability towards God? Um, wow. Okay. So there you go. There's some preaching for you after we saw Jehovah um, once and for all. Done. It's been solved. Now you can spread this video to the world. I really hope, I really do hope, that at some point in world history, there is a group of people that actually wants God. Can you imagine that maybe in world history there would be a group of people that actually wants to know about God in a deep level. Could there possibly be a generation of people that want that? How profound would that be? Right now, it seems as though everyone is trinketized with every stupid created thing under the sun that does not show them hardly anything more about who God is. Okay, so there you go. Um, done. So, no one says the word Jehovah, reads the word Jehovah, thinks the word Jehovah, writes the word Jehovah, 
without glorifying the number three perfectly every time, thereby confessing that God is in fact three persons. Amen. Equals 33.